Hello guys, it is Laser VLJ here, and I got a comment asking for, well it was only asking for a download to redacted, but since I saw I decided I would make a tutorial on how to download redacted. So, I'm going to keep this nice and short, and the first thing you have to do is go to redacted.se. And right now, at the time of recording this video, the site is under maintenance. So, the site still works, you can still download Redacted, it's just a very simple, bare bones version of the site, if you can see the maintenance. And, uh, we're going to mute this audio real quick. There we go. So, you do need to have a torrent client for this. It's not illegal, there's no viruses or anything like that. But uh, what you're going to need to do is just click this download link. If the site is not under maintenance, there will be a download tab somewhere up around here. And you click on that, it's going to give a link to a uh, page that is just like a blank page with uh, this link in it. And all you have to do is copy and paste that into your torrent point. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But if the site is under maintenance, you're just going to click on this, download, so this magnet download link and then click launch your application. And it will do this. Since I already have that, I'll do a quick note and we will remove this. And we will do it again. Okay, so now we will click OK. And if the site is up and running, there will be a download link. You will get a uh, link, a magnet link. And you will go into your torrent point, click File, Add Torrent from URL. And I just paste it in there. Then click OK and it will add it here to your downloads. And torrents are pretty quick, so there should not be a problem with download speeds, no matter what your internet is. And we will go to where our laptop to is. Now, sadly, this new adapted only works on Steam, the uh, Steam version of Black Ops 2. So, if you guys got the crack version, I don't think it works. So, kind of missing out a little bit, but it's, I mean, whatever. Uh, you can get Black Ops 2 on sites like G2A for pretty cheap, like maybe 10 bucks. So, yeah, once this is done downloading, they're pretty quick. I've already done this, that's why there's all the folders and stuff in here. Okay, that just deletes all the dump files I had in there myself. You guys can actually have that. But uh, here we go, download complete. So we go to this redacted LAN folder and we have all these files. So now what we're going to do is we're going to on this redacted.ini file, we are going to right click it and click edit. And what that will do is open it up in regular uh, notepad. And you'll see for username, it says redacted. Now what we can do, if we want to change that, you can even add colors in this. So like we'll go up here, and we'll give it a nice light blue. We'll just do that. And then we will save. I believe that is... Kind of broken yet. Yeah. Okay, we'll forget about that. Uh, so what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna delete that. We're gonna ruin the one that I already have in there. Is we're gonna take all of these and we're going to bring them into the Black Ops 2 uh, folder. And since I've already done this, it has to replace all the files. But it's okay, it should not take long. Don't need this anymore. Like this. And now you see all the new files that we have. 
Now, you'll notice you also have a T6 MPV43 .exe and a T6 ZM V41 .exe. This is your multiplayer and zombies. As you can see, I already have links on the desktop. I'm going to just replace them. I'm not going to switch it for the work, so it's what it says. And we'll make new ones. So all you got to do is create a shortcut. And create a shortcut. And then drag these onto your desktop. And now, if it is the uh, first time you are using them, you will need to right click on these, go to properties, compatibility, and then make sure run this program as administrator. Just tick and click OK for both of these. Okay, now that we have that, this should work. And now, there's nothing new added to zombies as of right now. None of the like new guns or anything are in zombies, which kind of sucks. So I will launch it in multiplayer. If you close this console, I do believe the game will close, unlike the night rebuild. So with the uh, new version of Redacted. Uh, there is actually online, but the uh, the thing with that online is it's not real. It is only LAN. So, you see 449, it's not actually true. Even if you click on public match and do all this stuff, you're not going to actually find anyone. Yeah, zero matches. So, there's nothing there. You can just clear that. And the only thing you can really do is custom games. But, that's alright. So we will add some bots. Now is the time to make your classes with these new guns. I mean, I know that's the reason why I got the new adapted. So yeah, these new guns are pretty sweet. Not many secondaries under that deagle. But tons of primaries, all this kind of stuff. I already had redacted, which is why I have all these classes made already. But uh I will just start the game and show you what's going on. There we go. Alright, so now the game loaded. I have all these classes with these new guns. And we will load up the game. As you can see, it does work. This is the M1 carbine from World at War. The bots do spawn in with these uh, new guns. Not all the time, but they do sometimes. It's super fun. And the good thing about LAN is, well, even though you can't play, like, online with your friends, if one of your friends comes over and say it's like Black Ops doing a laptop or something, or you have another computer with, uh, Redacted, they can actually go on that computer, or their laptop or whatever, and they can play with you, as long as you're on the same, uh, Wi-Fi network, which is a step up from the old Redacted.